My mantra in caring for patients is that I see them as my family. I see them as my friend, my sister, my mother. I've been in their shoes and I know how difficult of a time it can be. And so my approach to taking care of patients is to really be their partner, to be their fiercest advocate, to make them feel empowered and heard, and to make sure that I am being honest, direct, but also compassionate in their care. I am just a Jamaican girl who grew up in Lauderdale Lakes and Lauder Hill and spent all my summers in the Bronx. My inspiration to become a physician really came from my childhood best friend who suffered from sickle cell anemia. I was just a young child who wanted to make her friend feel better. And as I got older and learned more about health disparities and the real impact of what your family structure can mean for your aspirations, your avocation, what you want to do with yourself and your life, and even your health, it became imperative to me to try to figure out how to impact the family. And what better way to do that than through women. So that's how I ventured into the world of women's health and my field of maternal fetal medicine. As a maternal fetal medicine specialist, I am a high-risk OB doctor. I take care of patients from preconception, before they're pregnant, all the way through their pregnancies and even in the postpartum period. We take care of mothers who can have mild cases of, let's say, diabetes that they just learned about when they were pregnant, to mothers who have significant cardiac abnormalities themselves, maybe they were born with a heart problem or got sick later in life, but they wanna be a mother and they wanna bring children into the world. And we're here to be that guide, to be that partner with that patient in order to help them to have a beautiful, successful, safe, and joyful experience. I'm an immigrant, I'm a woman, and I want to be able to change my community and create a healthcare system that's equitable with faces that look like me. I think my patients perceive me as someone who they can count on, someone who can speak to them in language and terms that they understand. They know that I'm always going to be honest. They know that I'm always going to bring my authentic self to each encounter. They can count on me, I can count on them, and that we're in this together. My job to me is very personal. I'm here today because I sit on the shoulders of giants. I had no blueprint, but I had the support of my family and my community, and I owe them everything. <laughs>